Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything from the first Naval Aerospace Squadron, and I am going to go through the flight tutorial in Star Citizen. So enjoy it. Here we go. I'm waiting, Brook. Let's go! Clear for landing. I'm Lucas Baramsko, but everyone knows me as Gilly. I've served in six squadrons and qualified on almost a dozen ships. So if you put in the time, I'll get you on the path to dogfighting with the best of them. We're gonna set you up in the ship on the landing pad to your right. Hustle over and let's get going. Move it, move it, move it! While I'm doing this video, if you need to stop the video to read the text, feel free to do it. I am speed reading or I already know that information, so uh, I just am cycling through the text. But yeah, feel free to pause the video anytime you need to to, to read the text. Aegis combat assist activated. Systems green. Alright, first things first. Take a look around your cockpit and familiarize yourself with the layout. It's imperative to quickly find and access specific controls. Last thing you want to be doing in a scrap is bringing up the instructions. Left alt. You'll notice the majority of your systems are disabled. I'll be controlling when they're on and offline to simulate potential scenarios and combat situations. Let's get ready for takeoff. I'll do this step by step to show you how it's done. Look over at me and watch what I do. Systems, check. Engines, check. Tower, permission for launch. Cleared for launch. Copy that, Tower. All right, first I want to lift vertically until I'm just clear of the landing pad. Now that I'm clear, I can straight forward onto the taxiway. Now I square my ship up with the ceiling doors, ready for a vertical takeoff. Once you're aligned, the tower will open the doors. Is it my turn? Ready? I'm enabling your systems. We'll monitor your progress from up here. Yay! That's it. Once I clear out, middle mouse your button. Turn. Middle mouse button calls for flight con the flight control tower. Clear for launch. Thank you. So R Launch and complete. F will get me up and down. Nice. Landing You're clear the path. Okay, now straight forward onto the taxiway. If you need it, the tower should have lit up your path. Make sure you don't pitch or roll. It'll be tough to get back into proper alignment. I'm don't just pressing W the right the now. Doors. If I press Control W, I would press forward. You'd be surprised how the cockpit is not the center of the ship. 
The tower will open the doors once you're lined up. And then you press Q or end E to go left and right, straight left and right. So I'm queuing. And I feel like it's going really slow. Uh, in game, it goes a little bit faster than this. I think this is just for the tutorial, it slowed everything down. I'm holding my alt key down so I can look around up. while I do this. Alt basically uh, enables your free look so you can look around. And I pressed a button that I shouldn't have pressed. There we go, back to the looking around. <laughs> It's looking solid. Hold. You have to close the bottom doors before they'll let the top doors open up. Good line, pilot. Great job. I haven't seen many pull one off on the first try. You have precision, space combat maneuvering, and cruise mode. And you access those modes pressing the V or Victor key. And remember everything that's being done today in this training is done with keyboard and mouse. It's going to be a little bit different when you play with a HOTAS or a joystick. There's some strange sounds going on too. I've just enabled your targeting system. Use it to target me. Yes, sir. Targeting you. Good. When pursuing a target, you'll want to keep your speed as close to theirs as possible. Give it a shot. Make sure I'm targeted and hit match speed. Guess what that would be? M. <laughs> Great. You're locked on. Word. All right, let's go. Remember, this is an autopilot, so you still have to steer. But you'll notice that once you're locked, your computer will continue to monitor my speed and adjust. It doesn't matter if I speed up slowly or stop fast. That, my friend, is the Spire. Isn't she a beauty? I Moving suppose. on. Now this is my <laughs> favorite part of training. Is it? The axial roll. So much fun. Rolling is a great way to orient your ship to fit through tight gaps or evade incoming fire. Now you give it a go. Nice one. Well, you seem to be able to handle your ship, so let's see if you can handle a bit of combat. Check your radar. You should have a contact. Don't worry. It's just a training drone. It handles just like the real thing, but its weapons are less than lethal. Saying that, they still pack a punch, so try not to take any hits if you don't have to. Okay. Use your targeting system to quickly target the closest enemy. Charlie. Okay. Now look at the top right of your hut. You should see the target displayed. This will show real-time damage 
Shield status and a few other things. Shields are drawn as panels floating around the ship. They'll shrink as they weaken until they disappear completely. At that point, your shots will hit the hull and cause lasting damage. Okay. Now your weapons are online. So Line up your target and fire them. when you're ready. Left and right mouse button is my group one and two. Good shot. See it shields weakening on your hut? Yeah, it didn't like that. What are you waiting for? Go finish it off. Now you have a target. You'll have extra aim reticules. Those are predicted impact points or pips. They'll show you where to shoot to hit a moving target. Notice you have multiple pips with varying lag. Each of those indicates a weapon on your ship. The computer's trying to compensate for the varying speeds between your ballistic and energy projectiles. They're also a different shape. Not only are they, yeah, like there's ballistic and energy and... Good hit. Keep firing. There you go. Keep on the pressure. Danger. System overheating. It shields are down. Finish it off with a Danger. missile. System overheating. Middle mouse. Since we're not in landing mode, the missile mouse locking sensors missiles. are on the nose. So keep your target in front missile of you long enough locked. to lock on. Proximity alert. So one click of the middle mouse locks a missile, and then when you press and hold it down, it launches. Good kill. On me, rookie. Contact. Begin scan. Let's move on. Uh-oh. Contact. Looks Begin like he had a friend. Scan. Take a look in your review camera. Left control, left alt. There he is. Notice I'm at 100% throttle, but my speed is at one meter per second. <laughs> so it's not activated yet. They're not letting me move. Got lock. Missiles incoming. Proximity alert. That hit took out your weapons. You'll have to hold out till they come back. Countermeasures are still online. Use them. Okay. X selects your countermeasure and Z fires your countermeasure. So right now, last missile was heat seeking, so equip your flares. Helpful tip, don't boost heat. after dropping flare. one. Ready. Boosted thrusters are much hotter than a flare. Flares have a short lifetime, Shields don't be too quick to fire them. Another pro tip, countermeasures are fired backwards, so never Shields fly the missile head on, launch countermeasure and expect it to work. Sometimes it does though. Oh wait, it's letting me move. And I don't know why this guy's not launching a missile at me. So I'm going to toy around with this guy for a second. And then I'm going to basically just give him my rear aspect just to see if he'll even fire at me. But my guns are disabled. It's not letting me fire. I've tried. Flare drop. I even thought, hey, if I drop the flare, does that mean I win? Jaff no. ready. Jaff drop. Flare ready. He's thinking about it. Slow down. 
so he he trying to give the training drone an opportunity to get behind me or fire a missile at me or something. Still nothing, huh? Come on, drone. Fire a missile at me. There you go. It looks like he's trying to get in on, on, on my tail. Nope. <laughs> he's got lock. Missiles incoming. Nice. And see, I've already evaded it before he even fired the flare. <laughs> Good. You got your guns back, but I'll need more time to get your missiles up. If the drone gets behind you, enter decoupled mode to disengage your main engines and allow you to spin your ship around while retaining your original vector. All right, decoupled is a uh, caps lock, and I find it's myself a great way using to it and then it's staying sure caps lock all the time. Ahead first. Give it a try. So Just remember to, to disengage when you're done. Yeah, I wish it was another button other than caps lock. Got your missiles back. Take it out. Missile locked. Proximity alert. Ah. Missile locked. And you can change your controls. The key. If you don't like them the way they're set up, you can always change them. Missile locked. Good kill. We're heading back to the landing pad to restock and refuel for the final part of your training. You did good back there, kid. Let me guess, you're an arena commander fan. Um, yeah. This should be close enough. N for landing. I don't know why that is, but it is. You would think it would be L, right? Landing mode engaged. Once landing mode's active, your HUD's going to swap out your combat systems for landing-specific functionality. Go ahead and pick a landing pad. I'm going to pick the one that's highlighted, but I just wanted to cycle through using the Y and the C key. Once you've targeted a landing pad, request permission to land. Go ahead and pick a landing pad. Landing request approved. Your radar is replaced by the landing system. It'll guide you to your pad and help you perform a safe landing. You can use the automatic EDL landing procedure or do the whole thing manually. M puts you into manual or automated mode. Make sure your ship stays within the bounds of the pad, and keep your eye on your pitch and roll. Automated landing initiated. You gotta get close enough and low enough for the automated mode to take over.
AP activated. Landing gear deployed. Landing complete. Touchdown. Great work. While we're waiting, feel free to take a look at your ship setup. Okay, you got the ship setup goes through the F1, 2, 3, and 4. F1 is like your overview. F2 is your weapons pane. Where you can set up your weapons. And then F3 is your power distribution and allotment area. And F4 is your shields, like how you want them. In there, you'll see your weapon groups, shield configuration, and power distribution. I wouldn't mess around with them during training. And then here you get your ammo back. You'll see four, five, six, and seven. You get your missiles back. Topped off. Let's get back out there. Take off when you're ready. Which I'm just going to press R to launch up, strafe up. Think you can stay on my tail? Landing gear retracted. If you need to get up to top speed in a hurry, try boosting. That's your shift. Shifty, shift, shift. It's not afterburners because you could double shift and you could like go into afterburner. But boost just kind of like strengthens your thrusters, to brings you up to your max speed. Or you can also you use it to overpower it... your maneuvering thrusters in order to take tighter corners. That's what I was going to say. You can, if you find yourself drifting, you're turning and drifting, press boost and you'll start moving in the direction of that you're facing. Might cause you to black out though. I didn't realize I was in precision mode. I was like, what the heck? Why am I going so slow? You do slow? have a limited amount that takes time to replenish, so don't go nuts with it. So I press V, that puts me if in If you space need to cut your speed in a hurry, use your space brake. It's much quicker than dialing back your engines, and the moment you let go of it, you'll automatically accelerate back up to your previous speed. So Keep I... up, kids, you're blowing it. So I'm going to do a little experimenting and use the space brake, as he said, instead of boosting, I'm going to kind of like space brake just to make slow turns and stuff like that. Let's go, let's go. I'm falling asleep here. Letting go when I need to throttle back up to catch him and then braking. Um, yeah. You're gonna give up now? Come on, push yourself. I'm not giving up. I'm trying to keep up. Still with me, kid? I'm Good job. Up. Now, one thing you need to understand: every ship's outfitted with systems to look out for now, you. He stopped. That last now, short turn, you probably felt your ship clamp down on the speed. That's you your G-safe system now. kicking in, making sure that you aren't taking too many G-forces and blacking break out. Speed doesn't stop the. Drift. If you need to get that extra edge of turning, <laughs> you can disable G-safe, but be warned. An unconscious pilot turns to a dead one pretty quick. So, boosting would have been a better situation there instead of running into the rock by using the space brake. Watch it, rookie. Keep up, kids. You're blowing it. Careful. These ships aren't cheap. Yeah. Talking about my collision with the rock there. My hull is all red. This guy's trying to get me killed, man. Look at this. He's flying through these. He's dangerous. No, that's fine. Think fast. Uh, I'm thinking. <laughs> Take me through all these little tunnels and stuff. Let's go. Let's go. I'm falling asleep here. No, you're not. I'm keeping up. I'm within a click of you. I tried Still matching his speed a few times, but All right. I said screw it. I'm a little impressed. All right, you double tap the left ship, and then you hold it to maintain your afterburner. Race 
trace you to the spire. Hold on. I've got contacts inbound. Contact. Vandal fighter. Win. Dead ahead. <laughs> this is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. All your systems are active. This is a live fire encounter. Mark your target. Ooh, ooh yes. Sweet. I've got it marked, you see. There you go. Press J to actually mark the target. Kill. Contact. Stay sharp. Begins. We've got more hostiles inbound. Looks nice. like there's a glaive in the mix. That glaive's a recognized ace. Enemy designation is tank. We're gonna have to work together to take it down. Target the glaive. You gotta mark a target, kid. Good kill. Glaive's down. You're clear to engage the rest. Good luck. Major. System overheat. We're clear. <laughs> Hell of a training Danger. session, huh? All right. Danger. Radiation critical. I'm getting erratic power spikes from oh. your ship. They must have hit your power plant. Your ship's loaded with military intel, so we can't let it fall into enemy hands. You'll have to initiate self-destruct before you eject. Right, alt, backspace. Eject, eject, self-destruct, initiated. Right, alt, L. Come on, Ejected. bail out! Get out of there! System, open. Cutting it close there, kid! Let's get you back to base. First round's on me. Yay. All right, guys. Thanks for coming out and checking out this video. I hope that you learned a little bit about the uh, flight mechanics and uh, how to control your ship. And I'll see you in the first.